Prime Minister Narendra Modi announces 3.5 lakh crore rupees for Jal Jeevan mission to bring tap water to every household on India's 73rd Independence Day today. Manipur joins the nation in holding 73rd Independence Day celebrations. Chief Minister Nongthong Mambirain calls upon people of both hills and valley to unite for bringing development in Manipur. Independence Day Tea Party at Raj Bhavan holds traffic. Movement from Kashampa to Raj Bhavan Road resumes only after news coverage. And a general strike against India's Independence Day celebrations caused by various proscribed outfits affect normal life in Manipur. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News. I'm Joyce Rusham with the top stories and latest news at this hour. Nation celebrated 73rd Independence Day today. Addressing the nation from the Red Fort on the occasion of Independence Day, Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced an outlay of Rs 3.5 lakh crore for Jal Jeevan Mission for Centre and States to work together to provide water to every household. Modi acknowledged that nearly half of India has no access to drinking water and that this was a serious deterrent in the country's efforts to combat poverty. The Jal Jeevan Mission under the Department of Drinking Water and Sanitation will focus on integrated demand and supply side management of water at the local level, including the creation of local infrastructure for source sustainability like rainwater harvesting, groundwater recharge, and management of household wastewater for reuse in agriculture. The mission aims co converge with other central and state government schemes to achieve its objectives of sustainable water supply management across the country. Manipur joined the nation in the uh, 73rd Independence Day celebrations today. The Independence Day celebration kicked off with unfurling of the nation's tricolor flag by Chief Minister Nong Thong Mbirin at first Manipur Rifles ground. Speaking at the event, Chief Minister N. Birin urged people of both hills and valley to unite and strive for bringing development in the state. A total of 66 contingent, including nine band platoon, cultural troops contingent, and various contingents of BSF, CRPF, police, schools, colleges took part in the mass march. Assistant Director of Manipur Police Training College, Sarangthem Ashana, was the parade commander. Three personnel, including retired commander of 8 IRB Commando Manipur, Thaimai Gaipuril Kabui, received a present police medal for distinguished service, and 10 other personnel including Subedar of Manipur Police Training College Loitongbam Ranjit received police medal for meritorious service on the occasion. Two police personnel of Manipur Police Training College received a Union Home Minister's Medal for Excellence in Police Training and three personnel including Kakching District SP Victoria Yenkom received a Chief Minister's Trophy for Community Service while three other personnel including NAB SP W Basu received a Chief Minister's Trophy for Anti-Drug Campaign. Thaubal Municipal Council received the Civilian Award of 1 lakh rupees cash and a memento for achieving the cleanest city title of SWAT Surveillance Award 2019 for Northeast Region conducted nationwide for cities under 1 lakh population. Wang Jing Lamdeng Municipal Council received the second prize and Kakching Municipal Council the third prize in the same category. Mayang Imphal Municipal Council, Lamlai Municipal Council and Ningtokong Municipal Council also received cash awards for securing the top three slots for cleanest cities with less than 25,000 population for Northeast Zone. Fighting 
Speaking at the event, Chief Minister N. Birin condemned the recent illegal entry of some Rohingyas in Manipur. Birin also urged every indigenous communities of the state to live together in peace and unity. He appeals not to spite against each other. Biren mentioned that altogether 2,693 villages were covered under state government's Go to Village mission. He maintained that school Fagadhanshi mission will be launched in all the 60 assembly constituencies of the state on August 17. The chief minister opined that traffic congestion in Imphal city will be greatly reduced if schools and colleges in the city are shifted to the outskirts. He invited public suggestions and feedback on the same. Expressing happiness that helicopter trial landings were carried out successfully in some places, Chief Minister Nongtumambirin asserted that helicopter service will resume in the near future. Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee MPCC also held the 73rd Independence Day celebrations at Congress Bhavan BT Road today. MPCC President Guy Kangam, former Chief Minister Okrami Bobi, Congress MLA's top leaders and party members took part in the event. Speaking to media, MPCC President Guy Kangam urged people to bring value to the sacrifices of the brave forefathers who fought for the nation's independence. Guy Kangam also called upon people to fully exercise one's democratic rights and to be independent. Unfurling of the nation's tricolor flag singing of national anthem and homage to the brave freedom fighters marked the event. Sahi Mudraundu Shurama Nintam Sa Hena Mahima Masi Hala Nintam Mudu Mintent of Sri Puramaki, it told me I was called for the Sigam Nintam Munit, Asida, Manipusi, and me, and the Baltas Punamaka, that was a busy river to the Siman in the sea, the Union, which is Sanova, Chocolate Port, the Malay Puma, Kamu Pusin, the Punama Amateri Havokan. Bharatiya Janata Party, BJP Manipur Pradesh also celebrated Independence Day at party office in Kanchipur in the presence of party MLA's leaders and members today. Chief Minister Nongtumum Birain hoisted the national flag which was followed by salute by a team of CRPF personnel and singing of national anthem. Chief Justice Ramalingam Sudhakar hoisted the nation's tricolor flag to mark the 73rd Independence Day celebration at the High Court of Manipur complex today. Justice L.S. Jamir, Justice Nobin, Justice N. Kumarjit, Advocate General N. Ibotombi and members of High Court Bar Association attended the event. Chief Justice Ramalingam Sudhakar also released the High Court of Manipur newsletter 2019 on the occasion.
District Administration Chandel also held the 73rd Independence Day celebrations at Maha Union Government Higher Secondary School ground in Chandel District headquarters today. A total of 36 contingents of Manipur Rifles, school colleges, Manipur Police and nine cultural troops led by Parade Commander SDPO Chandel L. Harendra took out a march past. Speaking at the event, Irrigation and Flood Control Development Minister Let Pahaukip expressed contentment at the mass participation in celebrating the day and stated that it was a sign of unity for a better tomorrow. He also stressed on the roles of parents, guardians and civil society organizations in guiding the present generation along the right path. <laughs> Sahitara a decade ago, some law and order in Broglio situation, the Lakpa Mokam Barang Kangaba Lam, every stakeholder demanding their own land, Ila Tai, Adum Balam Ama, Adum Tapna Tapna Maya Masina, Atsoba, Ahumba, Amala Akanda, Leminaba, Nusitana Natin, Nana Lemina, Bogi Matota, Bogi, what something I see, Masak Kangapogi Moonga, Lam Santi Lena Nasi, Asumba Palan Toba Kangas. Autonomous District Council ADC Chandil also held Independence Day celebrations at ADC office in Monsang Pantha. ADC Chandil Chairman D. Ringo Lamkang hoisted the national flag to mark the day. Addressing the gathering, Chairman D. Ringo Lamkang urged present generation not to forget the sacrifices of the brave freedom fighters. He also stated that India is one of the largest democratic countries and urged citizens of the country to feel pride in it. preserve it wholeheartedly. Indeed, we should all of us take an oath today to be highly responsible and well-educated citizen of tomorrow India. We should sincerely perform our duty and work hard to successfully lead this democratic nation of India in general and the district of Chandel in particular. George Anpur District also joined in Independence Day celebration today. Veterinary and Animal Husbandry Minister V. Hankalian commenced the celebration by unfurling tricolored flag at Lamka Public Ground, George Anpur. 67 March Pass contingents led by SDPO George Anpur, Shivanan Survey IPS paraded in the event. Tribal and Hills Areas Development Minister N. Kaishi unfurls the national flag at Mini Stadium of Senapati District Headquarters on Independence Day today. 34 contingents led by Parade Commander Lakshay Sharma IPS paraded in the event. Blankets were distributed to village chiefs and authorities and commendation certificates were presented to deserving employees during the celebration. District Administration Bishnupur also held the 73rd Independence Day celebration at Old DC Complex ground in Bishnupur District today. Health Minister L. Jenta Kumar hoisted the nation's tricolored flag to mark the day. 18 contingents led by Parade Commander DSP of Bishnupur Police O. Sukumar took out a march march on the occasion. Speaking at the event, Minister Jenta Kumar called upon communities of the state to unite for preserving the integrity of the state. DC Bishnupur Nita Rambam, SP Hobson, and Sapam district level officers and many people attended the event. We should believe in humanity. We should District Administration Thaubal also celebrated the 73rd Independence Day amid tight security at Thaubal Mini Secretariat Complex today. Education Minister Thokjom Radesham hoisted the nation's tricolored flag and took out 
took salutes of march past by contingents led by parade commander, subdivisional police officer M. Bishorjit to mark the event. Addressing the gathering, Minister Radesham urged various departments of the district to join efforts in ensuring various government benefits to the people. MLA Wang Jing P. Brojan was among those present in the event. 187 selected employees from various departments in the district were freely stated with awards and appreciation certificates on the occasion. Independence Day celebrations were also held at subdivisional headquarters Gam Nom Sapramena Saitu Gam Fazol of Kangpokpi district. Deputy Commissioner of Jiribam District, Mayanglangbam Rajkumar, kicked off 73rd Independence Day celebration by hoisting the national flag at Jiribam Higher Secondary School playground today. Many people, including sportspersons and students from various schools of the district, were present on the occasion. Technopol District also celebrated Independence Day today. Department of Municipal Administration, Housing and Urban Development Minister Thaunaujam Shyamkumar unfurls the national flag at Government High School ground. March pass and cultural programs highlighted the event. People face major inconveniences due to traffic holds from Kashampa to Raj Bhavan because of a tea party organized at Raj Bhavan on Independence Day this afternoon. Manipur police and traffic police personnel blocked the road temporarily in view of the party attended by ministers, MLAs and bureaucrats. Commuters expressed discontentment over the unannounced blockade on the road. Blockade was eventually lifted when Impact News started covering the situation. ไม่เอาคุยทบกจะปฏิจจอธิงบัสมาเนี่ยพี่บุเจกะชนะตะบะตีปาร์ตี้ไม่ดมกตะสมัยเนาะคุยดาอธิงบะพี่บุเจกะ
Government is yet to keep its promises to reconstruct Lamkai market of Hyang Lam Wabagai Lamkai in Kakching district. Back News reporter Ilangbo Mushugmite brings you an exclusive report. Lamkai market, established in 1970, is a significant market for the farmers of Hianglam and Wabagai constituencies for selling their agricultural produce. The market, which is open mostly in the morning, gives various benefits to people of both the constituencies. Bazaar si yam nangalingi di huna koi 1970 ada digi koi pasca defence party memakada tauraga development kara tauno huna nami adu bo koi defence party tu mami thanda koi gi kaine kira bo matunda lamdam jigi ahlaman singkina lamdam si rakai thia laman ling mana lamdam jigi he na pabu oirani hai wa khanda kathi anje horoki bani. However, the market is not updated enough to cater to the ever-increasing population in the area. Upon being urged by the local residents, the BJP-led state government promised to renovate the market and even Chief Minister Nung Tumbambirin laid foundation stone for a new market on February 9 this year. On the very same day, the Chief Minister assured that construction of the market will be completed by August 15. The Chief Minister's assurances remained a mere lip service for the people in the area. Construction of a new market is a far cry as the old market set is not even demolished yet. Even the construction of a temporary market set under local area development fund is incomplete. People in the area urge government to keep its words and complete the construction of the market at the earliest. This is Ibetui Talk Tone for Impact News reporter Elangbo Musuk Maite, Impact News, Imphal. Well, moving ahead, Public Works and Power Minister Tongam Biswajit inaugurated the ex servicemen's Memorial Park of Rajya Sainik Board Manipur at its complex today. Armed Forces Ex Servicemen Association Manipur organized the inaugural event at Rajya Sainik Board Manipur Head Office in Lamphel. Speaking at the event, Minister Biswajit assured to table motion for construction of Rajya Sainik Board Office and a Memorial Park in the upcoming Cabinet meeting. He stressed the need of a proper office building with adequate infrastructure for efficient functioning of the board. Biswajit urged the board members to find a suitable office site in the meantime. He assured to allocate some money from local area development fund to construct the office and further assured to urge other MLA to do the same. Biswajit lauded armed forces, servicemen and ex-servicemen for their contributions for the country. He hoped that the qualities of discipline, nationalism and patriotism of the servicemen and ex-servicemen will inspire youths of the state to join the armed forces and to take active roles in the country. I think I could give financial ability for possibility backup. Like a double light reva. Other day, I guess I eat a mother hanging at the some tennis of the seventy five percent in a Adigilaka at the state. This year's twenty five percent were under the Mali. 
Attending the program, Education Minister Thokchom Radesham reverts the heroism of the armed forces servicemen of Manipur during the Second World War and the Kargil War. He asserted that servicemen and ex-servicemen of the state have occupied a significant place in the Indian defense. Radesham also lamented over the lack of a proper office building and a memorial park for the ex-servicemen in the state. He assured to urge the Chief Minister and other ministers in the upcoming Cabinet meeting to fill up the inadequacies of the ex-servicemen. MLA Dr. Sapam Ranjan and many ex-servicemen including former Lieutenant General Konzam Himale, former Lieutenant General El Nishikanta and a President of Armed Forces Ex-Servicemen Association Manipur retired Colonel Sushil Kumar attended the event. Ada hand bego ina impal na raise tau sama lewa memorial am pasal lewa. Maya ngah ngah lah lah koi exchange idea exchange tau nabi jagama get together ni mafah mat thambi bah common place am thambi bah. Isna priority number one tau naga makha tau bana district wise tau lupa kan dora district district ti MLA ada iya tau iya kan agan tau nabi ya bodoh. Tau nabi mana sih owner koi tau murus aja ni maya amsa muka appeal tau sikit. Han owner tu CMS BB grey. Muka han na koi requirement what the guideline says guideline na kari yao ri ade rule na kari lay ri taupham thokpa na kari no ade rule na na tawa guideline yao tawa akwe na kari taupham ngambagi adu shingul doa ni mention tawa brief amma kakta ng honorable cm da samit tawa viramatu ng da honorable minister ka ai ka honorable ml ka kopi ya mamta ng bibi rawa then we will pursue it adu ka tana jage kari te taupha ya abano hai bato hona jage Imphal City wore a deserted look as the Korkom, the apex body of a group of underground outfits and several other underground outfits called for general strikes since last midnight in connection with the 73rd Independence Day in the state. Even though the day was celebrated at the first Manipur Rifles Parade ground under tight security measures, the general strike affected normal life in the city. The major markets in the city, Pongna Bazaar, Thangal Bazaar and Kwaramban Bazaar remained shut down. All shops including oil pumps remained closed. Inter-district passenger vehicles as well as private vehicles remained off the road. Most of the roads in the capital city were empty as people remained indoors except for a few applying for essential services, religious ceremonies and medical emergencies. State police and paramilitary force personnel maintained strict vigil to avoid any untoward incident. There is no report of any violent incidents from different districts of Manipur so far. One IED was found near Kongampad Orchid Farm in Imphal West District this morning. According to Impact News sources, the IED was discovered around 7.30 a.m. People in the vicinity informed the police, upon which a police team, including Sekmai Police OC, rushed to the spot to inspect. Later, CID State Bomb Disposal and Detection Squad arrived and disposed of the bombs safely on the site around 9 a.m. A program titled Men Care Models Program and Leadership in Family and Society was held at the Community Hall of Juvenile Club Terra Sapamera today. The event was held as part of Vision 2012 for development to be conducted till 2028 in Imphal West District under World Vision Area Program New Lambulane, which was established in 1988. President of the Juvenile Club S. Robindro and many eminent persons attended the event. Trainer of MCM, C.H. Inauba and social scientist Dr. Dhanabir Lystrom were the resource persons of the event which highlighted on the roles and responsibilities of a father towards his family and the society. Dr. Dhanabir Lystrom stressed on the significance of good fatherhood for a virtuous society to the attendees. <laughs> Jom pandi riba, aje nipi juga aje se. Ani si, satu yang mesti nabi saya. Thamui dugi kau riba, thamui dugi loi nabi riba, jangan mesti nato riba. Nipi tu nusu, adun adun minus nato riba. Alangkah kau ini pamsi besar. Mama apa? Aku 
Now the sports news. 21st Youth, 22nd Junior and 23rd Senior State Weightlifting Championship organized by Manipur Weightlifting Association, MWA, concluded at Indoor Stadium of Sai Special Area Games Utlau in Bishnupur District yesterday. MOA Senior Vice President Dr. G.A. Bopishak, MOA Vice President T.H. Joy Kumar and K. Baruni, MWA Working President and President M. Lokendro and N.G. Rastrapati and MWA WA eminent members took part in the valedictory event. Sai Utlo backed the team championship title and IKYC backed the runners-up title for men in the championship. TCMDC Tongju backed the team championship title and Sai Utlo backed the runners-up title for women category. Weightlifter of KYC L. Chinglin Mani was adjudged best weightlifter for men's category and H. Jivarani of TCMDC was adjudged best weightlifter for women category. MWA also felicitated the weightlifters who have backed medals in the previous International Weightlifting Championship in the event. Weightlifters of 13 units from across the state took part in the championship. All Manipur Football Association AMFA has kicked off six day AIFF D license course under the aegis of All India Football Federation in Imphal. Altogether, 20 individuals from various parts of the states were selected in the first phase for the course. AFCC Licensee of All India Football Federation, El Chauba, will supervise the course to be conducted till August 18. Theory classes are being held at the Conference Hall of Manipur Olympic Association, while the practical classes are being con conducted at Kumbhanlampak Artificial Turf Ground. Newly selected President of All Manipur Football Association, M. Ratan Kumar, General Secretary, L. Jodri Moy Roy, Chairman of AMFA Technical Committee as Amutombi and Vice President of IWDFA H. Megachandra took part in the event. AMFA also informed the selected 20 candidates for the second phase of the course to be held at AMFA office near Imphal Polo Ground to submit their names latest by August 17 afternoon. The 20th Asian Senior Women's Volleyball Championship will kick off at Seoul in South Korea from August 17 till 25. Eminent sportspersons of All Manipur Volleyball Association and International Volleyball Referee T.H. Romeo have left Imphal yesterday to take part in the championship. T.H. Romeo will be a referee in the championship. Now, before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi announces 3.5 lakh crore rupees for Jal Jeevan mission to bring tap water to every household in India's 73rd Independence Day today. Manipur joins the nation in holding 73rd Independence Day celebrations. The Chief Minister Nongkumam Birain call upon people of both hills and valley to unite for bringing development in Manipur. Independence Day Tea Party at Raj Bhavan halls traffic. Movement from Kashampa to Raj Bhavan Road resumes only after news coverage.
and the generals try against India's Independence Day celebrations called by various proscribed outfits affect normal life in Manipur.